Hi guys, Squirrel here and welcome back to another Train Simulator video and this one is going to be the CRH2A. Now if you remember, in the last video I covered the CRH1A. The CRH2A, bizarrely enough, was put in service in the same year, the 2007. Um, but it was originally built, it was designed from a Japanese bullet train, hence the sort of sloping nose there. You may recognize that from the Japanese bullet train. And originally China licensed it from a consortium of Kawasaki and Mitsubishi and Hitachi. And then later on in the later builds, they basically retrofitted the inside with their own engineering. So they got rid of their own, you know, got rid of the engine and replaced it with their own power plant, that kind of thing. It's capable of 250 kilometers per hour, just like the CRH-1A. Uh, however, it draws slightly less power. It only draws about, um, sorry, it generates less power. It generates the engine power plant, generates 6,400 brake horsepower. But it still goes the same speed because it is just such a lovely design. Um, I'm looking at these scenarios here and I was kind of thinking we would do this one. Uh, it's not too long, 55 minutes. Uh, some of these other ones are a little bit too long. We'll go for this. It's a four-star rated difficulty. It says this afternoon you will take the D5120 high-speed train. Now we need to remember that because that's important for the onboard computer. It's a bit like OMC. I'll show you in a minute. You punch this number in and it affects the automatic announcer. Uh, from uh, train to Chong Chongqing. Chongqing, who knows how we say this, it runs between Chengdu and Chongqing daily, but today you need to complete just the Suning Chongping section. Very hard to say. <laughs> Timetable is very tight, but advanced ATP and ATO system will free you from the massive job. That's a lie. It won't free you from a massive job. Enjoy the scenery along the way. I have to admit, I've had a quick look at the scenery, and you can see on that bridge, it's beautiful. Uh, and have a nice trip. This is going to be a fairly tricky um, mission because we don't have automatic cruise control like we did on the CRH-1A. Uh, so it will be tricky, but the scenery is pretty spectacular in places. So let's start. So now we're this train to Chongqing. You need to stop at Tangan and Henshu Station before arriving at Chongqing. Timetable is tight. Don't make a mistake. Don't make mistake. Should be don't make a mistake, I think. Uh, let's kick off by opening the doors. We'll get that done. Let's jump inside here. Need to get a few things going. Uh, looks like the... Let's check the lights. Lights are not on at the front. The lights are down here. Pull that all the way up. We'll turn the cab light on because there are... Come on. There are some uh, tunnel sections, quite a few tunnel sections on this, and we'll need the lights on for that. This thing is an emergency brake, e-brake, which needs to be reset. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, we need to punch in the train announcer, so we'll click in that, and then we'll go input, and then we go D5120 confirm. You remember that number I told you about that we need to punch in. So if we look over here now, it now says D5120. And, interestingly enough, you like this. If you look on the side, it says D15120 here, uh, carriage one. And if you go further back, it says D5120, carriage number two. You see, it's all, all works. It's little things you may not have known about this particular train that there means that the outside doors are currently open as you can see they are indeed look how thin low this thing is to the ground it's awesome compare that with the 1a which we drove last time here's the 1a which looks like compared to this thing looks like a rectangle doesn't it oh that's quite a long train that one look at that i think this is an eight car train you can see over here eight cars and the designation tells you whether they're sort of um like toilet or power plants or motor ones, that kind of thing. Just waiting on this to kick off. Uh, we need to set the reverser to forward. Now, this is different to the 1A completely. It has a, a braking system and an acceleration system, which are independent of each other. Uh, the system over here, that horizontal ticker on the 1A has become a vertical ticker up here. Uh, and this thing is slightly different. White indicates the current track speed. Yellow, when it comes in, indi indicates the incoming track speed. Um, emergency brakes up there there are some visors you can play with up here, I'm not going to touch those there are no openable windows on a bullet train, why would there be uh, and that's just about it, there's also cruise control here, constant on, constant off or press the B key um, it is literally uh, keep the speed that I'm currently at, that's, that's what it does it's not an automatic at all you have to manage your own deceleration and acceleration which is what makes it tricky uh, that is the brake pressure system. 
So when we move that, we'll see it. Okay, doors are now closing. They are closed. I shall uh, release the brakes. Press the e-brake button. Emergency brake reset. Check that we are clear to go. And begin our acceleration. Off we go. Right, now, slightly awkwardly, the speed is over here. So it's kind of hard to read the exact speed from that bit there. So you have to kind of glance over here, then press the B key like that, which locks in the cruise control. There you go. Now, D512, you can see it's displayed here as well. 44 is our current speed limit. Uh, but from here, it is hard to read. That one's much easier to read. So we're going to keep at the current track speed. I'm going to get rid of this now. Don't want to use that. Not sure what this is. Looks like a built-in iPhone to me. I'll listen to this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the CRH train. This train is bound for Chongqing Bay Station. All seats are reserved. Please take your seat according to the number on your ticket. This is non-smoking train. Smoking is prohibited in any area on this train. Thank you. The next station is... Tonan Station. Tonan, that's how you say it apparently. Uh, you may have seen that beep and then it went up. The track speed uh, increased to 160. So I'm just bringing it up to speed now. Once I get up to 160, I'm going to hit the B button. That green-yellow split means there is going to be a, um, a green down to yellow signal change coming. So we just need to watch out for that. We're almost at 150. That'll do. I'll press the B key there. Now you need to be careful because although it's... See what's happening? Watch the speed. That announcer. There you go. That announcer there was... Um, you're breaking the speed limit. Because although the cruise control locks in at 155, or whatever you set it to, it does not take into account you going downhill. So when you go downhill, as you can see, the speed increases. It's kind of weird. It doesn't apply the automatic brake system, and it can catch you out if you're not careful. Okay, I think we're coming up to a yellow signal here. Let's just keep our eye out here. No, we're fine. Okay, we had a countdown there. There we go. All right, so... Increase speed. It was a speed limit change. There we go. Now we've got full line speed limit all the way up to 10, 20, 30, 230 k's. So we can now begin our acceleration. Yeah, when we punched in the D5120, that punched in the announcer, much like you do with OMSI. And I thought I'd let that play out because it's kind of amusing. You get it in Chinese, then you get it in English. Uh, but it is interesting to listen to the pronunciation of the of the city names. Uh, we, we would say that as what? Tongnan? They say it completely different. It's a uh, rough pronunciation because their language translated into ours is, is quite different. Even their music, like Chinese music, is not the same as Western music. Like all the musical scales are completely different. It's quite funny. It's all based on mathematics like all music is, but the, the scales are totally different. More than one way to do music, apparently. So I think... Given our track limit is 230, I'm going to get this up to 225 and then press the B key. It did say that we had a tight schedule to keep to. Uh, 1603, arrive, current time 1550. Okay, we've got some time here. Right, I'm pressing the B key on 225. Uh, that should hopefully iron out any wrinkles and allow us to have a look outside because the scenery does get pretty spectacular um, out here. Particularly when we go over the massive bridges. Uh, I've not seen all this at all. I've not seen this bit at all. But when you go over the big arch bridges and over the water, it, it looks wonderful. 
So in many respects this train compared to the 1A is better and in some respects it's worse. The lack of automatic cruise control is interesting, like the 1A is more advanced in that respect. Um, and also, you know, the 1A just has uh, a combined... Hello. Flashing yellow indicates speed change, does it not? No, we're good. Uh, okay, that just beeps at me. Okay, I, I assume that was good. Um, this doesn't have the automatic cruise control, but and it has a split between the braking system and the acceleration system, whereas the 1A has a combined system. So in that respect, I would say it's not as advanced. But you can see the onboard, you know, announcer and the ATP systems. It kind of feels like it's got more to it. Um, there are some strange artifacts that I've noticed, like this here. You see that? At first I thought there was some weird stuff going on, some weird display, but what it actually is, is this. You see these screens? One, two, and three. Whatever's showing on these screens, just, there you go, there's some trees there, just happens to be what you see through here. Um, basically, it <laughs> it draws them. Like, when you look behind you, you can still see into the carriageway. That, that's obviously a bug, but whatever. Inside, there's nobody in here again. It's just empty train, which is really, really annoying and dull. Um, speed has now increased up to 250. That's what the beep was. I didn't spot it. It was a 230 to 250 increase. That may have cost us dearly. What time were we doing? 16.05. Due in 16.03. We are late. Okay, we are late. It was a tight schedule, and I just blew it. Lol. <laughs> that beep was significant. It was a speed change beep, but because it was so short, 20Ks, I didn't spot it. So that's going to be fun. Come on. Why do I feel like this thing is not... There we go. Uh, okay. So when I accelerate to... Yeah, yeah. You've got to you've got to touch the brake in order to release it or press that button. So it wasn't releasing the cruise control lock, so it's staying on two two five, and I wanted it up to two. Actually, our ETA might come down now. Six zero four. Yeah, ETA is coming down. We can we can probably get this back. I'm going to try and max this out at two fifty. And uh, if we do go down a downhill section, then I'll just have to um, apply the brakes, touch, try and get some time back. These kinds of speeds, you know, it makes a big difference. Five kilometers per hour can make quite a big difference in your arrival time. We are 24k away and we're going to get some scenery look in a second once I can lock that cruise control. This thing absolutely flies. Okay. Lock it in at 249. Typical. Jump out and have a look at the scenery and you cross over 250. As you do. Okay, we're under 1603 arrival now. 1604, sorry. Yeah, we're good. We'll be there on time. 21k away. I think we're good to have a quick look outside. One of the things I do like about these onboard computer systems uh, is that because they're aware of the signals ahead, um, you don't have to worry about, you know, being outside here and then suddenly you see a yellow light fly past and beep AWS oh my god emergency brakes doesn't happen on these things it's beautiful isn't it look at that absolutely gorge so efficient with that streamlined nose you know and a streamlined rear as well it's just like it's like a dart just passing through the air you know There are some other things on this, I seem to remember. There's one up here. What does that do? There it is. Oh, yeah, you see? It gives you a... Um, it gives you the Chinese and English. Look, reverse a forward, reverse a backward. Doors open. It's a T key. Uh, sun visor left is control S. There you go. And shift S. So you've got little hotkeys for all this stuff, which it tells you over here. 
ATP isolate mode, on-site mode, and shunting mode. There are different modes that you can put the ATP into, uh, depending on what you're doing. So if you need to pass a signal on red, I think you have to then stop and then go into on-site mode. I read in the manual. It does come with a manual, by the way. And uh, if I haven't already mentioned it on the previous video, this is a Just Trains, Just Trains.net train and scenery pack. This is not a dovetail thing. You're not going to find this on Steam. I don't think it's on Steam anyway. Uh, I got mine from the website. Right, let's have a look on the outside. Here we go. Look at this. There's some nice scenery coming up here. Look at that. Just look at that. Love the reflections. It's like a Bob Ross painting. Look at it. I mean, admittedly, Bob Ross didn't put any high-speed trains in his paintings. But he definitely had trees and water and reflections. There was plenty of that going on. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with Bob Ross, you probably didn't watch Twitch. <laughs> Go and look up Bob Ross, people. He's a, a lovely guy. Unfortunately, passed away. 1995. Uh, he was an artist. And an inspiration. And uh, I used to watch him quite a lot. And he's, back, he's on Twitch now. He's got his own Twitch channel. Bob Ross. And they're broadcasting his stuff every Monday. I think he did something like 13 seasons, 13 series. Um, sorry, did he? Not 13. He did something like 30 series, and each one had 13 episodes in it, I think. So he has well over 400 videos of him painting. He had a thing for small, cute animals as well. He used to look after small animals. And uh, had a special thing for squirrels, bizarrely. Just absolutely bizarre. I used to watch this guy when he was younger. Um, I, I wonder if he was some influence on me to choose the word squirrel. I, I don't know. But one of his favourite creatures on Earth was a squirrel. <laughs> Just massive irony. Anyway, he's a good watch. And uh, every Monday you can go and watch him on Twitch TV slash Bob Ross and watch it. Watch some of his paintings. They are some of them are on YouTube as well, but they're broadcast every series um, every Monday now. And on his birthday, October 29th, they said they're going to do an entire marathon, like of all of his stuff, which is which is really cool. You can even subscribe to his channel. It's insane. Enough about Bob Ross. Just because I looked at some trees. How far are we away? We are. Oh my God. Oh, that's all right. Okay, we've got a speed change increment. We need to drop down to Tongan Platform 2. Uh, okay, so we need to get ready for that. So, I'm going to back off on that. I'm going to touch the brakes. Uh, we're going to put them on. Let's put them on 2 for now. And let's have a look at how far we've got. 8.6 kilometers is a speed change down to 45. So this is where we need to manually govern our speed. So I'm going to put it on 2 and see how we get on. Current speed is 228. But the speed change is because we're coming into Tong Tongnan platform, 1603. Currently we're going to be there early, so we've got loads of time. We, we burned back all of that lost time, which is fantastic. Uh, what I don't want to do is start breaking too early and lose that massive advantage. But you know, when you're 7 kilometers out, it sounds great. But in a high speed train, that's over in a matter of minutes. Look at the look at this! Just incredible construction, massive amounts of construction. How are we doing? We're down to one eighty and five k's left. I think we're okay to leave it on on two. Listen. We will soon arrive at Tongnan Station. When you get off the train, please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Oh, as we like to say in England, mind the gap. <laughs> How are we doing? I love these announcers. 3.4 kilometers and we're down to 127 I think we're good for now let's have a look at some more scenery while we can Bob Ross trees 
Lol. Yeah. I think we're doing better than I thought. I think I'm just going to back off on the old braking system for now. We'll just cruise down at 110. I know I can get 110 down to 45 in about one and a half kilometers. Probably less at a push. It's the same on the uh, intercity trains. Like They advertise that you come into a platform quite a few miles out because people, you know, on the longer distance journeys, people have more stuff with them and they need to sort of get it organized and get themselves bagged up and that kind of thing. All right, let's get the brakes back on now. One and a half k's away. I'm going to start braking a little bit more aggressively. Our ETA is 1604, so we kind of, kind of feel like we have lost some time here. I feel like I have been braking a bit too early. Right, 700 meters. There's the sign, and we are still doing 82. Right, let's get some more brake on. Level six on the brake. <laughs> I'm looking at the speed, looking at this, looking at the yellow dot and trying to trying to guess, you know, trying to gauge it. I think we've got it. We've got to get it under 45 roughly. There we go. And then we can just release the brake, that's fine. So now I can press the B key, lock in the cruise control. CRH1. You see how the yellow went away and it got replaced by the white? That's the current active speed limit now. And here we go. Now, there is a similar trick to the one I showed you on the CRH-1A. Uh, in the, as, the, as the front of the train passes a platform. I'll show you from this, this view. It's probably easier. So, at the moment you touch the brake, it's going to disengage that cruise control. Um, but it's all about what setting to put it on. You want it on about two or three. Two will easily do it. Sorry, three will easily do it, and two is almost. So we'll put that on two now. And you'll see that it starts to decelerate. And then at this point, about here, you probably want to put it on about three now. And if you have a look at the back of the train, you'll see it roughly stops in the right place. You can, of course, put it on three all the way. You could even stop it early if you put it on four now. It doesn't matter. We'll stop it a bit earlier. Get some time back. Open the doors. Cool beans. Open the doors. One person getting off. A couple of people back there. Wow. I would not like to go down those escalators. Look at that. <laughs> I think there's a reason why they're normally flat steps. Blimey. Okay. Due to the depart 1605, it's currently 1604, so we're on time. We're on. We're completely on schedule. It's all good. I've seen you before, mate. I know where I've seen you. I've seen you over there. And I saw you there. And I saw you over here as well. And back there as well. And you two. You're twins. Oh my god. I really hope in the next version of Train Simulator they sort that out. Right, doors are closing. People are walking through escalators. It's time to go. So, release brakes. Hold down the emergency brake system to release that. And off we go. So, if you look at the track speed limit, it is, what, 90? That. We're good to accelerate all the way up to 90. We'll get it to about 85 around that mark and then press B and lock in that cruise control. Two yellow signals there. Ladies and 
您上车以后，请按照车票上的座位号对号入座。本次列车全程禁烟，请勿在列车任何部位吸烟。感谢您的配合。Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the CRH train. This train is bound for Chongqing Bay Station. All seats are reserved. Please take your seat according to the number on your ticket. This is non-smoking train. Smoking is prohibited in any area on this train. Thank you. 下一站是河川站。The next station is 河川 station. How can you how can you pronounce 河川 How can you even pronounce that? That says Hekawan. <laughs> How could we possibly guess that that says hurting, or whatever she said? Meanwhile, the scenery. Right, let's jump back in. Uh, there was a speed increase to 250. I tried to point it out while she was talking. As you can see, it takes quite a few kilometers for this thing to get up to speed, and then quite a few for it to bring it back down again. So. It's a little bit of a long play, this one. It's not a, a quick stop. Not like a commuter train, put it that way. A commuter train can accelerate and brake fairly quickly, up to its operational speed. These things take a while. You've got to plan ahead a bit more. Right, 200. Once we get to near 250, we'll do a bit of sightseeing. Now, these distances sound, you know, pretty big, don't they? Like, 44k sounds like a long, long way. But trust me... Once we get up to speed, we'll be on 20 before you even know what's going on. It's crazy. I think we're climbing, actually. Yeah, we are. Look at that. Look at that climb. Then we're getting up onto an elevated section. Two fifteen. We're struggling to put on the speed right now. I'm surprised to see the 1A coming the other way. I would have thought that the... Um, the twos were, would work on this line, you know? I don't know if they mix them. I don't know if they have ones and twos going down the same track. They probably do, to be fair, but... I would have thought there would have been a two coming the other way. I wonder which one is better from a passenger's point of view. I mean, they both got the same speed. But I wonder what it's like inside the actual carriages at the back. I wonder if people are like, Oh, I was hoping for a two and we got a one, you know? That means I can't watch TV now, you know, whatever it is. Right, I've locked that in at 2.45. I think that should be more than ample. Because, yeah, if you go in the back, they have got TV screens. Um, I, they don't have any headphone sockets or anything, so I'm not sure if that's just for announcements and adverts. It probably is, to be fair. But they're kind of like, um, like threes and twos, you know? Threes and twos all the way down, I think. Screens on top as well. Anyway, let's have a look outside. That's it all locked in now. We're all safe. That's what it looks like on the ground. You see, it's a second class coach down the side here. CRH2A EMU D5120. Now look at that. How quaint is that? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at this. And then in the tunnel. Now, bizarrely, when you're in these tunnels, like, this was quite a short one, but quite often it can look like you're about to pop out the tunnel when you're not. You know, you think the light at the end of the tunnel is actually the end of the tunnel, but sometimes these things are so long, and you'd think it'd go into blackness, but it doesn't. I'll see what you mean. You'll see what I mean if we uh, if we get in one of the long tunnels here. So we can get a trackside view. Oh, almost. That's pretty cool. The thing is, it doesn't look like it's going... 250, does it? There we go. Here's another tunnel. 
It doesn't look like it's going 250. It just looks like something going about, I don't know, 100 miles an hour. Nah, it's not a long one. Typical. There was um, there's a number of sections I've been on where uh, the tunnel length is just unbelievable. I'm going to let the speed increase a touch. Maybe 246, lock it in there. Hello! Is that the bridge that... No, it's not. I was going to say, is that the bridge that we saw on the thumbnail? It's not. It's just a suitable span bridge. Look at that. Great scenery. It's a gorgeous looking train, this one. A real sleek design about it. Not a chance of seeing what that platform's called. My god, this goes down the middle, but even so, I reckon you could feel the wind buffer on that platform. When this thing screams down the middle. How far? 20k's. <laughs> 20k's to there. How far to the platform? 26. So, again, you know, in a couple of minutes time, we're going to be starting our deceleration. Just eight miles, this thing. Look at that road. Oh, my God. Look at that. Who builds a bridge like... That's crazy. It's not even set. I don't think you'd even get that in this country. I don't think the de Department of Transport would allow it. I mean, particularly if it's going to have trucks going over it. Imagine in winter when it gets covered in snow. This track is amazing. Like either side of it is just rail it's just railings and then it's on an elevated section. It's just completely purpose built. It's like something that you lay down in city skylines, you know, just some elevated track just straight down the countryside. It's like they just went, oh we can't be bothered, just you know, normally when you build railways you build them on the ground because it's a lot cheaper. So you just excavate a bit of the ground, pack it all down, put your track on, job done. Charlie just went, you know what? We'll just elevate the whole thing. We'll just float it right through. We won't bother. That way we can go on a straight line. <laughs> we just, And every time we come across a big hill, we'll just punch our way through it. It's no big deal. Fourteen K. Yeah, massive amounts of scenery. That's the problem with the high speed rail, isn't it? It's, it's, you want to build a scenery for it? You better build a lot of scenery. Just look how elevated that is. Good grief. I like how from the front you can hear... Can you hear the uh, track? Did you know that that's where um, George Lucas got his inspiration for the um, laser guns in Star Wars? Back in the late 70s. They got a piece of, of the steel track... And then they hit it with something, and that's where they're... Pshoom, and then they just added some effects to it. But that's where the original noise comes from. Is that, that rattling? True story? Right, 9k's away. Not that far now. We are speeding. I'm not sure how that happened. Okay, I'm not. Sh I'm just trying to work out when to start braking on this thing. How far are we? Thirteen. Okay, let's just keep the. Let's keep the speed back up again. Not sure how that speeding just happened. Right, we'll hit the cruise control there. I guess we went over a little bit of a dip or something. 
thought I'd toot my uh, <laughs> fellow train driver. Okay, 5k, 11k. That is going to come into range very sure. There it is. There it is. Right, so I'm going to back off on the acceleration. Tap and release the brakes, which will disengage the cruise control. So the speed will just naturally start to come down a little bit. Um, I don't want to break as early as I did last time. In fact, I'm going to let it... You can see the distance here. So the yellow bit represents the speed change that's going to happen. The speed change is going to bring us down to 45. That will be the new the new track limit. Sorry. The yellow represents the current track, lim track limit now, and the white represents the next one. And the next one will happen here, 7.3 kilometers away. Um... I'm going to try leaving it to about six kilometers and then going to start braking maybe on th two or three setting um, because I think I started to brake too early last time and I don't want to do that again. There's six, right, let's, let's go for three and see how we get on. We are actually, I think we're climbing actually, ever so slightly. Is it me or does the train look white on that side and yellowy on the other side? Not weird. We'll just keep our own things. But there's a nice bridge coming up here. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. That is nice. That is nice. Right, how are we getting on speed wise? We're down to 143 with 3 kilometers to go. I think we'll just let off on the brake a touch. ETA 1620 and 42. We need to be there at 1620, so we're pretty much on time at the moment. Okay, I'm just going to release the brakes. We're still two kilometers out. Yeah, we're fine. I can easily bring that down. One point five, one point six. Okay, let's get the brakes back on again. Once you're within about a thousand meters, you generally start to get a visual on the uh, on the speed change signal. But apart from this curve, I think it's down there. But it says there it is. Okay, we're doing 88. We're fine. All good. This is a very built-up area, isn't it? Look at this. Five hundred meters doing seventy-four. Get a touch more braking. It is more or less guesswork at the end of the day. Right, release the brake. Hit press the B key, lock the speed in. We are at forty-three. One or two hundred meters before the speed change, that's that's fine by me. Notice how they don't have a secondary announcement just as they approach the platform. Like they give you that announcement miles out or kilometers out, but they don't give you another one. Like on uh, on British trains that they, like they do, they sort of tell you well in advance and then they'll tell you now as you're coming in. Okay, same trick as before. I'm going to wait till we get the front of the train at the start of the platform. I'm going to put it on three this time. So, like the. Disengages the cruise control and should hopefully bring the back of the train to a nice rest.
Look at that. It looks like three is the best option. Two will put you further down the platform, but three... I think three is good, actually. I'm going to go with three. Okay, 1621 it is. We're just about on time. Let's get these doors open. As a man emerges from an escalator. <laughs> Nobody getting on or off. Blimey. Oh, he's coming in. Okay, 1622. Next stop is Chongqing or whatever it's called. That's the, the final stop. So again, that there signifies that the doors are currently open. We'll just wait for that to close. That guy's already gone, look. That noise you can hear is uh, is not my fan or anything. That's the actual air conditioning on the train. Which I presume is behind us somewhere. Okay, right. So, release the brakes. Hold on the e-brake. And off we go. All the way up to 90. How far away is it? Uh, 55. 55k to the next stop. I bet this train just goes backwards and forwards on this journey all day long. I love it. I absolutely love it. Although I'm sure she said, welcome abroad. I'm sure she said that. Which is interesting because her English was fantastic apart from she went, welcome abroad. Still, her English is way better than my Chinese. I shall forgive her. Right, we're only doing 150. Let's have a quick look. This is a very industrial here, look. It's a factories. Again, the whole thing is just elevated up. Incredible. How long has it taken to build this? There's another one over there. It's just amazing. Like, each one of these concrete pillars. You know, it's going to take weeks to put one of these things in. And they're just miles and miles and miles of the things. Now, you see what I mean about the tunnel? I don't think that's the exit. Is this the tunnel I was on about? There's just this ginormous tunnel. Oh, it might be the exit. Oh, well. There's a ginormous tunnel that goes on for, for many kilometers, and you just it looks like it's you're coming out of it, but you're not. Ah, is this the bridge? I think that's the bridge, isn't it? Look. It looks like Runcorn Bridge. <laughs> you might not know where Runcorn Bridge is, but it kind of looks like it. Keep my eye on the speed here. and I've not locked in the cruise control yet. The CR1, I just pressed the automatic. It would have taken us all the way up to speed and then held it there. No such luck on the CR2. Not sure about the 3, actually. I need to see if the 3's got it. I can't remember. Funnily enough, the 3 has the best manual. Like, CR1 doesn't come with a manual. The CR2 comes with a decent manual. The CR3 comes with quite a big manual. I think they built them in that order as well.
Yeah, look at this. This is the tunnel I was talking about. Can you see the very end of it now? It just looks lit up all the time, but it isn't. It's not the end. Isn't that weird? Like a tunnel like this would just normally be black at the end. Straight through the mountain. Boom. What's the speed? Good. Are we still accelerating here? Let's go. That's fine. Wowzers, look at that. Why did they put that arch in? They must have ships going underneath that bit, but that's weird because there's nothing to go under. What the heck? Why did they build that? There must be something about the land there. Maybe it just goes really deep or something. They couldn't. They had to arch it. There must be a reason for it. You don't just randomly put in an arch. Are we climbing? We're taking a Oh, we're going downhill. Oh my god, we are going downhill. Okay, I need to be careful. <laughs> Look at this. It's gorgeous. Water. Two thirty now, and we're fine. We're still going down. Yeah, for some reason, we're just not getting up to track speed properly. It's taking a long time. All right, we are sixteen forty forty k's away. Sixteen forty one. We're actually going to be late right now. I am on max speed as well. Max acceleration. Brakes are released. It's weird. We must have been climbing, I didn't realise. We'll be fine. As long as we get to... If we can get up to like 248 or something, I can lock in the cruise, I think we'll be okay. It's crazy, like, you don't appreciate the speed you're going right now, you know? Two forty eight. Right, let's lock that in there. Two forty nine. ETA sixteen forty, we're good. Ooh. There's actually a, a track speed change down to two thirty in ten K. Should be fairly easy to achieve that. A couple of notches of brake should bring it down. I reckon we can leave it to like 1500 meters out and then just knock it down to 230. Was that a graphics glitch then? I swear it, it, we could see through the wall and then we couldn't. Yeah, it just did it again, didn't it? Did you see that? That was insane. This is a mighty long tunnel, blimey. And it curves as well. They, when they tunnel this, they had to curve. Like a really long curve. Must have calculated that. Otherwise you come out in the wrong place. 5k out. Oh man, look at that, there's a train on the other line. At the same time. ETA 1639. That's good. We're actually going to be early now. We've clawed it back nicely. Just need to judge this thing correctly. Look at this scenery, guys. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> I told you it had awesome scenery. Look at it. It's like London Underground Simulator. Right, we're 1800 out. Let's start shaving that speed down. Yeah, 
Yes, 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 I know. She, I think she's warning me about incoming track speed change. Look at that. On the money, 229, 200 meters out, like a pro. <laughs> I think it was just for that little jink over on the line, I think. I reckon that I reckon we'll go back up to full speed in a second. Sixteen K, that'll be here before we know it. Interestingly that's at sixteen and then that's at twenty four. Maybe there's a speed change that happens there. There we go. Oh no, there's another reduction. Blimey, that's down to one sixty. In seven and a half K. Not sure what that's about. Well, we need to think about this. Six K out. At what time do we need to start decelerating to get down to one sixty? Let's put it on four and see how we get on. 5k out. Because, you know, 230 down to 160 is still quite a bit of speed reduction. In fact, that's not moving at all, is it? Blimey. That's better. Okay. I was panicking slightly then. I thought, oh my god. <laughs> We're going to go flying through this one. We're fine. Ninety. Yeah, we're good. I think we're going up a hill as well. No, we're going down a hill. That might explain it. Okay, I've actually done it way too early. Okay, okay, okay. We know there's a speed change, love. I need to get on naggy about it. That's actually going up, even though I'm applying the brake. That's hilarious. It's a serious downhill section here. I'd love to look at the scenery right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm having to keep the brakes on. When I release the brakes, look at that, when I release the brakes, the speed just goes flying back up again. That's how steep this hill is. My god, look at that, 159, I just hit it as we went through the 160. And I'm still on four notches of brake. Five, six, because we're going up again. Look at that. That's six k's away, and that's over there. There must be a sharp left turn coming up. That would explain the speed limit. While we are seriously going down. I think we're going mining or something. <laughs> yep, we're going over there somewhere. Get some cruise control locked in at 158. There we go. Jobs are good. Wowzers, look at this. What the heck? Whoa. This is insane. It's like they built one and then they just went, oh, we need another one. Let's build another. Oh, you know what, guys? We need a th straight over the top. Why not? As you do. speeding. No, we're not. Oh, my God. And it's so high up as well. So incredibly elevated. 
can't get over that. Some serious bit of construction going on here. So one thing, they certainly invest. Right, what are we on? Eight kilometers away. A drop from 160 down to 90. That will be for this. Yep, that will be the speed check coming into the platform. So this is our final slowdown. It's the finals. No, there's no need for that. <laughs> I'll let you finish the song. Yeah, 7Ks. This is, uh, again, getting really industrial. Well, it was industrial, now it's going heavily residential. It's actually quite a quiet train as well, isn't it? I think 150 to 90 won't take long to shave. We'll be fine. Chunking North 2. Okay, I think we'll start... We'll start on 5k with a couple of notches of break. See how we get on. Like that. Shouldn't take long. Another tunnel. Yeah, actually, you know what? Speed's coming down so much, I'll just leave the brakes. ETA 1641, blimey. I'm actually going to be slightly late. Obviously lost some time. I'm actually going to accelerate, you know. I started to brake way too early. That's not going to help with the ETA at all, is it? I think we're okay. We're not going to be late as such. We're in between the two times. So I think we're going to be fine. Okay, we're now two kilometers out. And at this point, I am going to start braking. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. We know! <laughs> She's like your secretary, isn't she? She's like, <laughs> Don't forget. Yeah, I know. I've got, I'm on it. I'm on it. 1k out. Now I see the light in the distance. Now I'm thinking I left you too late, lol. Now I'll be fine. We're good. We got this, people. Look at that, the yellow light. 90. 90. Like a glove. Okay, cruise control. Awesome. Coming up, destination one kilometer, which is interesting because we're still doing like 90. This is where we're stopping, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm going to be at the other end of the platform, but we'll be fine. It's all good. Final destination.
Awesome! I think we'll get done for a speed in a little bit there, but we're fine. Right. 1641 arrival. We're supposed to be at 1640. We're actually a minute late, but I think that was good. No serious errors. Just some weird speeding problems. Guy in a chocolate suit gets on. The man from Dairy Milk. It's Chinese writing. No idea what any of it means. Hang on. I'm trying to see the driver. Come on, game. Now he looks Chinese. He definitely looks Chinese, unlike the last guy. He looks Euro J Euro Japanese. Come on, we'll just wait for this to take over and get our final report. That's quite good. I enjoyed that. Pretty good scenery, I would say. Interesting train. CR three is going to be next. And then we'll have seen all three. Welcome to Chongqing! It's a major city in the southwest China, one of the five national central cities in China. It's also known for its long history and unique urban landform. Here in Chongqing, you may find exit to street level at ground floor, 5th and 12th. Food is largely a hybrid of Sichuan cuisine and local specialty dishes, one of the most famous being the hot pot. <laughs> hot pot is what you get from Lancashire? Please see more detail at Wikipedia slash Chongqing. That's like a... An advert for the city. Okay. What happens now? Um. <laughs> Excuse me. I believe I've completed everything on the scenario. Wow, this has never happened before. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Not really sure what you're supposed to do about this. There's nowhere else to go. The scenario didn't end. It just said, welcome to Chong Chongping, and then... And then nothing? And lols? Oh well! We never do well find out how well I did. That's it from me. We'll leave it there. Next one is CR CRH3. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care. Happy training. <laughs>